White Collar Factory is situated at Old Street Roundabout, which is the sort of tech hub of the City of London. The client wanted a signature building, a building of height, so we're ground floor plus 16 floors plus a roof terrace. So what we tried to achieve was a warehouse building for the 21st century. So it's taking the characters and creating a concept and creating a set of principles, which is about tall ceilings. We've got four metres from one floor to the other, which affords us floor to ceiling heights of 3.5 metres, which is some three quarters of a metre taller than a standard equivalent office building. We have windows that open, so we're talking about passive ventilation, which aligns with passive cooling, which we achieve by running cold water through the concrete slabs. So right at the heart of the white collar factory concept was a reinforced concrete frame and this was all part of a holistic and integrated design proposal where we were pushing the design and construction of concrete very hard and concrete was not going to be used simply as the structure of this building but also in terms of the architectural language and the environmental conditions as well. Effectively we have three levels of reinforced concrete basements. Above ground floor the whole of building one is a reinforced concrete frame Frame, consisting of jump formed north core and middle core and then flat in situ concrete flat slab. So the monolithic nature of concrete means that it can span in two directions with a flat soffit and this means that there is full flexibility in terms of partition layouts and obviously in terms of uninterrupted services distribution. The choice of reinforced concrete also means that we're dealing with a very shallow structural depth which of course means that we maximise the internal volume. We set up tools where we could forensically analyse the concrete and really look in a lot more detail with respect to the stresses and the movements. And that allows us to reach up to 12 metre spans, which is very unusual with, with in situ reinforced concrete. By having the in situ concrete slabs, they already provide advantages in terms of stabilising environment within the building. So concrete will keep the building cool during the day as it absorbs heat overnight because it has that thermal lag. But well, we've gone one step further to make as much of that as we can by embedding the cooling within the concrete. So the concrete now suddenly becomes part of the cooling system. What the client did was build a prototype and were able to test it over a six month period, which happened to be a very, very hot year. And we were very pleased with the results. It showed that the concrete and the embedded pipework in the concrete maintained the conditions admirably during that hot period. So one of the other benefits of having a concrete structure is it provides a very robust support for all of the services. And it is something that can happen quite early on in construction because in this building we're exposing it. As you expose it, you've got to sort of really worry about it. And as architects, we love to worry about uh, the detail and get very precious about how we achieve a really decent finish. You know, this is sort of grade A finish for the interior. So to, to get the detail correct, we built a number of mock-ups, which started as sample panels just to get the concrete mix right and the color right. That extended to bigger samples and bigger mock-ups where we tested ideas about formwork. Is it a steel shutter or a timber shutter? Species of timber, uh, board marking of timber as well. And we get right down into the sort of how do you expose the grain of a timber and get that through into the concrete texture as well. So a long process, probably nine to 12 months worth of working with the engineers and the trade contractor and the main contractor and all those suppliers, concrete supplier as well, to get that formula, that recipe right, and also the method of construction and the detailing as well. Whether it's a corner, how the concrete meets the ceiling, meets the floor, how it turns into a reveal into the lift. So all these details we had to think about very early on in the process because with, by taking the finishes out, there's no hiding. For us, White Collar Factory represents the conclusion or at least the, the next stage in a journey of working with concrete as a finish and as a, as a structure, of course. We're delighted with the finish of White Collar Factory and it's, it's concrete. It's really pushed us as designers and I think also the contractor as, as well and the engineers. But that's a good thing, you know, we want to be challenged in our work and, and as I say, we're delighted with how it's turned out.